I've gone a whole year without spilling anything on myself. Now, having said that, that's good. <sighs> Pardon me. Today was the office potluck. Uh, the winter office potluck. I'm sure we have more than one. Anyway, I brought my crock pot full of little smokies. Four pounds. Interesting. I wonder what that was. Four pounds of little smokies, four packages. Two jars of apricot preserves. One jar of mustard. Heat thoroughly. Stickiest mess ever. Fortunately, I didn't get my hair in the crock pot. There was a real danger of that happening as I was trying to transport it from the car to the table inside. Because I'm the last person in the building, I think there are some other people in the building, but it's the last loneliest crock pot on the crock pot table. There are only five crock pots this year. I think all our crock pot people retired or were laid off. Because I had a meeting when the crock pot started, weekly call, by the time it was over, no meatballs left. Man, I want some meatballs now. Maybe I'll make some when I get home, but probably not. I have a lot of leftovers. A lot of stuff that I gotta eat in the next two days or pack. I don't know, the TSA probably frowns on you packing pork roast uh, shoulder butt stuff. Because it's partially liquid. Today is Tuesday, but it might as well be Friday! And the last video of the year. Sadness. Uh, let's play some illegal music uh, in celebration. It's 6.38, as you can tell by the Taco Bell bong. It is that late. It's 26 degrees. I felt like it. it's been in the 20s all day. For a 24-hour period, and I know I forgot the temperature yesterday, so forgive me. We spent a uh, 24-hour period staying, uh-oh, I'm doing that thing again, at 24, like in that one degree range. We never got above or below. <coughs> so far today, according to the weather bug, the low is 23 and the high is 27. So, currently 25.7, aka 26, close to the highs of the day. Would you like to see some sponsored messages? I would not. Come on, weather buddy. Now, I'm really tempting fate. I know a couple days ago, I loaded the computer down so much that my voice started making weird noises. A fact which Otto caught on and commented on. Thanks, Otto. And if I forget, Thanks to the five or six people who have probably watched all of these and by commenting have made it known who they were. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Otto. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, thank you, who's left? Occasionally Phil, occasionally Lise. I think I'm down to six or seven. It's probably everybody. Uh-oh, here it comes. Here it comes. One more. Are you ready for this? Great. Timberwolves are playing uh, right now. It's a 6.30 game. It's 6.40 right now, so they're probably tipped off. I'm not as enthused about this game as I was yesterday's game, and I missed almost half of yesterday's game. The good half. The first half, they were dynamite. And then they just kind of started slowly giving up the double-digit lead they had, and by the time it was over, they lost by double digits to the Magic, who are not that good. So, I don't know. Tonight's game is broadcast on NBA TV as fan night. Beth Rude now, Ernie. 
So I hope you're watching it instead of me right now. You can watch me during halftime, maybe. Shrug it home by halftime. Fun thing about the office potluck is we always get a giant, actually four giant boxes of grocery store fried chicken. I didn't know they were actually from the grocery store until somebody told me today. It's good fried chicken, though. Which means there's always about one box full of leftovers. So I'm going to hit the fridge on the way out and grab three or four pieces, and that'll be keeping my dinner. Because although I have nearly endless leftovers in the fridge right now, who can pass up free food from work? If you can pass up free food from work, you're a better man than I, and probably thinner than I. That's it, the last V8 of the year. I've got four in the can. So what did we learn in 2012? It's where we get introspective and talk about the year that was. I decided I would spend this year talking to you. Not really knowing how that would go. To be honest, I really didn't think I was going to do 10 minutes every day. I thought it was going to be three or four minutes, one topic, in and out, short and sweet. And it kind of didn't work that way. And I don't know if it's just because of me being wordy, or you giving me things to bounce off of. I don't usually come into this with a set idea of what I'm going to talk about, can you tell? At the same time, I don't spend a lot of time doing nothing or doing this. Or typing on the keyboard to look up websites or to pull up threads from the W. Speaking of which, last answered comments of the year, it's the Greg and Doug show from Doug. I don't take my shoes off. I don't take my jacket off. I don't take my laptop out of my bag. I never get scanned and groped. TSA pre-check is a beautiful thing. Have a safe trip. That's the very definition of a humble brag. I will never fly enough to make it on pre-check. I wish I could. Boy, I'm looking forward to taking my shoes off. From Greg, please don't forget to tell us how the roast for the jar of pickles came out. It came out beautiful, because it's pork. You can't mess up pork. I will say, I didn't pick the flavor of pickles that I wanted, but it was the only one that had those really big chunks, and I really wanted some big chunks. I think it came from having a McRib on Friday, my first McRib of the year, and thinking, hmm, pickles probably match well with pork. So that was what I used instead of water or chicken broth, I used the, the pickle juice. And to be honest, it didn't change the flavor all that much. But I have a feeling that the leftovers will taste quite different. The pickles probably don't need to be eaten. but. I don't know, maybe Kim will like it. Part of the problem was I didn't cook it long enough, and so there was still, the fat was still there. Usually I cook it long enough for the fat to just kind of dissolve and disappear. In the process, the pork kind of loses its all cohesion and it just becomes this cold stuff in this liquid that deep down you know is fat, but you don't notice when you're eating it. So Kim didn't really enjoy it of the globs of fat. So it uh, sat in the crock pot for several hours after we ate it, before I put it in the fridge. So I think the second time around it'll be even much better. And of course you had it over rice and you pour the pickle juice over the rice and it's like, mmm, taste the sensation. And having a new container of Worcestershire sauce, is this how you thought we'd go out? <laughs> to kind of mix in just a, just a dash. Yeah, but it was all good. Uh, I'll try it again. In fact, I'll see if I can find the pickles that are big, thick chunks, but that are in the very kind of more zesty and less sweet uh, juice, brine, whatever. <sighs> so here we are a year later, 225 videos down. I don't think I'm any better at this than I was at the beginning, although perhaps I am. 
Maybe I was okay to begin with, and I just kind of stayed at that level throughout. I guess it's up to you to tell me how my year was. And not to beg me to come back, because who knows, by the time I come back, and it'll be two weeks from tomorrow, maybe I'll want to do this again. Maybe. Maybe I'll go back to VU, though. Shorter bursts and long, uh, uh, more of them. Answering many questions in separate videos. I actually have a, a, few, a couple hundred there just by virtue of answering questions, even though I hardly did. I, I would kind of do six at one time and then I'd do nothing. And right now, my queue is uh, completely empty. So I'd either have to go to the public ones or you'd have to go to my VU page and enter some questions there. So maybe to come back, we'll just start off slowly. We'll go to VU, we'll do a couple two minute answers, and then we'll see how things go. And I really can't think that far ahead. Was there anything else I was supposed to talk about? Because I won't be coming back to talk about them, so I don't want to forget anybody now. Uh, let's see, anybody here? No. Anybody there? Do, 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 do. I talked to Otto. I can't get into Google Plus because I'm logged into YouTube. Boy, how annoying is logging in now using your full user uh, email address instead of your username? Why well, you got to be so unfriendly? Speaking of unfriendly, how about Instagram's new terms of service? Huh? Huh? Yeah. You know, there are some people who are mad. Is oh, don't get your panties in the wad. But the truth is, if we hadn't all gotten our panties in the wad, they wouldn't have come back and assured us that they really weren't going to do those awful things that you know deep down they wanted to do if they could have gotten away with them. Hello, comments. Any comments? No? Okay. Well, there's one comment. Nope, that's the comment from Otto that I've read three times. Should I read it again? We'll have to see if this video worked out. Okay. I love the unintentional voice effects. Ha ha. Let's weigh down the laptop. So, no, thank you. This is it. 2012, it's over, and I am out of here. Thank you so much for watching, whether you watched just one or all 225, or whether I am long since passed away and you've stumbled upon this archive uh, as part of an archaeological question. I hope these 225 videos have given you just an inkling of what kind of person I really am, but I doubt it. This, by the way, is the 2011 shirt, and I have no idea where 2011 is. I'd hate to think that uh, we ended this without me showing you. Oh, gosh. Tough noodles. Oh, well. Mele Kalikimaka. Happy Christmas. Uh, Hanukkah's over, so I, I missed the boat on that one. I never did say that Jewish phrase I learned, which I have since forgotten. Chag uh, Sameach. Something, something. I probably got in big trouble there. But again, thank you so much. Uh, if you have any feedback for me, you can find me at the usual places and all the usual spaces. CRZ.net has your locations, website addresses, email addresses. Yes, I still do email. I get letters, baby. My name is Christopher Robbins, Zerman, but you can call me CRZ. I love you. Till we meet again. Uh, via con Dios uh, and all that. Peace.